Number 5. The first foreign military sales F-35A Lightning II fifth-generation stealth fighter jet was handed over to the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, marking a major milestone in Japan's enhanced national defense and strengthening the future of the U.S.-Japan Security Alliance. F-35 has three variants, the F-35A is the conventional takeoff and landing variant. The A variant, is primarily intended to replace the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-35A is expected to match the F-16 in maneuverability and instantaneous high-G performance, and outperform it in stealth, payload, range on internal fuel, avionics, operational effectiveness, supportability, and survivability. Number 4 Fresh from his fourth straight national election victory, Japanese Prime Minister Abe now enjoys the most solid political backing of any leader in his country's post-war history. His party dominates both houses of parliament, opposition parties are in complete disarray, and no other politician enjoys a higher personal approval rating than him. Predictably, with the electoral hurdles safely behind him, Abe has turned his attention to the one topic that, after the economy, he cares most about, fixing Japan's military and amending its security posture. Japan has been increasing mindful of the China's military build-up and belligerent behavior. Tokyo has recently published a new defense-wide paper that identifies the growing assertiveness of China as Japan's most serious challenge. Abe also appointed a hardline lawmaker, Tomomi Inada, famous for her revisionist views of Japan's wartime actions as his new defense minister. Abe has also reiterated his determination to use the crushing parliamentary majority he now enjoys, to remove from Japan's constitution provisions that restrict his ability to deploy or use military force. Number 3 The maiden flight of the first Japanese F-35A took place in August. Japan is to purchase 42 F-35 under a U.S. foreign military sales deal. The first four aircrafts are delivered to the Japan Air Self-Defense Force on 29 November. Remaining 38 of the advanced fighters will be assembled at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries final assembly and checkout facility in Nagoya, Japan. Lockheed Martin said maintenance training for the first Japan maintainers has already begun at Air Force Base in Florida. Pilot training for the planes began at Luke AFB in Arizona beginning in November. Number 2 Military planners from both countries are concentrating, on what they believe is an imminent threat of a Chinese seizure of some Japanese-owned disputed islands. This could inflict a catastrophic psychological blow on Japan, and could even discredit the Japanese-US military alliance. The scenario has prompted the two countries to have closer military ties in recent years. Barack Obama had earlier declared that the US is duty-bound to come to Japan's aid, in the event of a conflict with China over a group of disputed islands in the East China Sea. Obama went further than some analysts had expected in reassuring the Japanese Prime Minister, PMB, that Japan's dispute with China over the Senkukus Island were covered by the Allies' post-war security treaty. The treaty assures Japan of U.S. help, in case Japan is faced with an external threat. Number 1 Japan might decide to acquire additional F-35A fighter jets in the not-too-distant future. Japan is expected to award a contract for the procurement of up to 100 new fifth-generation air superiority fighters in the summer of 2018. The deal is estimated to be worth $40 billion. The scale of Japan's rearmament ambitions is no longer in doubt. The country is already America's biggest and closest technological partner on missile defense. The current government of Japan is also actively shoring up its military ties with other nations. India and Japan have revived the stalled project to acquire 12 Japanese US 2i amphibious aircraft costing 10,000 crore rupees. This marks a significant strategic cooperation between the countries. The specialized seaplane, the US-2I, will be Japan's first overseas military sail in nearly 50 years. 
it can be very well argued that China, with its assertive posturing is making Japan move to a more aggressive defense policies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.